the topic is a recurring solution of type t of n is equal to t of n minus 1 plus 1 okay so in the previous tutorial we define what is actually okay we talk about the recurring solution what does that mean okay so in this tutorial we are going to see how to solve this type of a recurring relation okay c of n is equal to c of n minus one plus one okay so let's just take an example okay so consider the following c program okay this is actually a c program void test okay in n that takes okay um a parameter n okay an integer parameter then we said that if n is greater than zero then print okay print f print just print the value of n okay and then call the function back okay call the function back n minus one okay we are actually reducing the values okay so you record that from the previous tutorial all right so here this function is doing nothing but printing the value of n okay and call itself print call itself okay so if you want to trace this what is actually the time taken by this function okay to execute itself given an n input okay as input if you take okay this one if you call the time taken by this function to execute this okay all of these as t of n okay usually for the recurrence relation we take t of n instead of f of n okay but of course you can take what you want there's no problem with that so here we call it okay t of n for the condition we can ignore that right since it's a constant it's an if condition if n is greater than zero this one is actually a constant okay it is a one of course you can take it if you want now for the printf okay we have one instruction so one operation we can take it as one okay the time taken to print this okay as one now test okay call the function back please make sure you have already watched the tutorial on recur okay recursion before you jump into this if not you may not understand some concepts okay so now we are calling the function back itself okay and we are actually reducing the value of n okay minus one each time we call the function so then after you okay you print this then call the function back okay test but now with n minus one okay so the time taken by this is actually t of n minus one then we can put okay this in this form c of n is equal to c of n minus one plus one if n is greater than zero okay if n is greater than zero we have this one plus this one okay so then we can take c of n minus one plus one okay if n is greater than zero and what happens if n is less than or equal to zero nothing okay but don't put nothing okay don't put zero here we put one okay the constant one or you can even put c k or whatever you want okay but don't put zero okay even if it's doing nothing we take it as one okay the time constant okay so then that is okay t of n is equal to one if n is equal to zero and t of okay is equal to t of n minus one plus one if n is greater than zero now how to solve this okay so in this tutorial we are going to see how to solve okay this recurrence relation using the substitution method okay and in the upcoming tutorial we are going to use the master method okay the recursion tree method and so on okay recall the four methods that we saw in the previous tutorial okay so solve this using substitution method okay so t of n is equal to t of n minus one plus one okay so by substitution method we have this okay t of n is equal to t of n minus one if you substitute okay t of n minus one we get this okay here n minus one here n minus one minus one okay we are going to get 
t of n minus 1 is equal to t of n minus 2 plus 1 okay same for t of n minus 2 is equal to t of n minus 3 plus 1 okay so if you substitute okay that is just take this t of n minus 1 and then replace it here okay in here we get this t of n is equal to t of n minus 2 plus 1 okay record that see that this one okay notice that this one is actually t of n minus 1 okay this term in brackets okay square bracket is t of n minus 1 okay then the plus 1 of this one right now we continue with the substitution here we have t of n minus 3 okay plus 1 which is actually which is nothing but t of n minus 2 okay this one this one is t of n minus 2 which is equal to t of n minus 3 plus 1 okay this is it okay this is it then plus 1 this one and then plus 1 this one then if we continue and we are curious we notice that if you continue till some k value then we have t of n minus k okay let's just take some k value plus what plus k okay so for one for minus one we have what c of n minus two plus one all right for three we have plus one plus one plus one okay three times for two we have one one okay two times then definitely we can take it as okay that is k so t of n minus k plus k that is the value of okay t of n how we can express it now when are we going to stop so we stop when n is, is going to be okay equal to zero recall okay from the previous okay from our code here we said that when n is greater than zero keep executing this but when n is less than or equal to zero that is equal to zero we are going to stop so we are going to stop when n is equal to zero that is t of zero then we are going to stop when this one when this quantity n minus k is equal to zero so that is n minus k is equal to zero this implies that n is equal to k right so therefore t of n is equal to t of zero plus k which is equal to what to one okay t of zero we call that t of zero is one right when n is equal to zero t of n is equal to one okay so we then have one plus n that is n plus one then big o of n this is the time complexity of this recurrence relation okay this function big o of n so we solve this using the substitution method in the upcoming tutorials you are going to see me use other methods okay to solve this same type of recurrence relation all right see you then in the next tutorial bye